yes, Raul is back on the road after a two and a half year absence. I am one happy guy right now. I'm gonna be gone for about two, three weeks, maybe longer. I'm gonna have several locations. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna visit some friends along the way, and I'm gonna take a lot of stock pictures and whatever else I can capture. Speaking of capturing, I normally go with my X-T3, my Fujifilm X-T3, with an army of lenses. This time I've decided no way. I'm gonna go with a very simple solution. I'm gonna save my back a lot of pain. Because when you carry one camera body, maybe five, seven lenses, which I do, with all the accessories, a medium-sized backpack or larger, you're looking at 20 pounds or more. 20 pounds on your back for eight hours straight, that can be very tiring, especially at my age. This old fart is not gonna be carrying 25 pounds worth of equipment not for the next three weeks. I'm gonna be going extremely lightweight. All right, so what is my solution this year? Right here, baby, I'm taking the Fujifilm X100B with me for three long weeks or longer. Yes, sometimes it's not about the camera, although this is a great camera, it takes excellent pictures, has plenty of bells and whistles. More often than not, it's what can the photographer do with whatever solution he has in hand. That's what differentiates the amateur from the professional. So stick along with me for the next three weeks. I'll be posting several videos, taking lots of stock pictures and whatever else I can capture. All right, enjoy the ride, my friends. We're gonna be having a lot of fun. Okay, I'd planned on shooting a bunch of videos while on my road trip, but that simply didn't happen. I quickly realized when I started filming some videos in Charleston that I just wanted to focus on my photography and that's exactly what I did. So I apologize for not having any fancy A or B roll of my adventure. Sorry, no dope Peter McKinnon content in this video. What I will share with you at the end of this video is a picture slideshow of some of my favorite images from the road trip. I visited Charleston and Greenville in South Carolina, followed by Asheville in North Carolina. Then I headed off to Nashville and Chattanooga in Tennessee. This three week long road trip was very special to me because I changed my priorities. On all my previous road trips, my focus was always to be prepared as a photographer and have all the necessary photography tools with me. By tools, I mean I would take several lenses and sometimes multiple camera bodies and all the accessories such as neutral density filters, polarizers, speed lights, at least one tripod, and other things I would rarely need or use. Do you do the same? Do you find yourself carrying a bunch of gear that you don't end up using? Well, I do it quite often. So I made an executive decision. I decided to only take this beautiful Fujifilm X100V as my sole travel companion for three weeks. Let me tell you, that was a very liberating decision. Why was it liberating? All right, it was liberating because it forced me to let go of my dependency on technology. Sometimes you just need to let go of all those expensive toys. It was liberating because it allowed me to re-examine my creative talent. What <laughs> little of it that remains on the right side of my brain. And finally, it was liberating because I was able to connect with my surroundings no matter where I was at the time and rethink how I should compose pictures. As simple as that. Sometimes we need to get back to basics to rediscover ourselves. And that's exactly what I did with this great little travel camera. And I challenge you to do the same thing. And it doesn't have to be with this same exact camera. You can liberate yourself with one camera and one lens for an afternoon, for a day, for a weekend, for a week, as long as you want. But let me tell you, this camera truly exceeded my expectations. I did purchase one accessory for the camera to give me just a little more flexibility on the field of view. I bought this WCL X100 II wide angle conversion lens that expands the field of view from 35 millimeters to 28 millimeters, 
which helped me tremendously to capture some better landscape and architecture shots. I uploaded a video on this topic last week, so check it out. All right, so back to this camera. Is this the perfect travel camera? No, it's not, but it's pretty darn close. I set three goals for myself for this road trip. Number one, have fun above all and enjoy my trip. That goal was definitely accomplished. I did not want to be weighed down by 20 pounds of camera gear. I went lightweight with the X100 and thoroughly enjoyed walking around without any worries about equipment and a heavy backpack over my shoulder. Number two, I wanted to test the capabilities of this X100V to see if it could produce excellent results for my stock portfolio. That was definitely accomplished. I have already identified at least 1,000 images from the trip that will be added to my stock portfolio. By the way, I have numerous videos on how to improve your stock sales, so check them out as well. And my number three goal, I wanted to confirm that this camera can be an excellent travel camera for future trips? And the answer is a resounding yes. This camera will be going with me on many future trips. I'm not gonna talk about all the technical specifications of the X100V. There's plenty of videos available that will cover that topic. I'll let the picture slideshow speak for the camera. At the end of the day, that's what really matters. Do you love those images coming out of the camera? What I will mention is how I set up the camera. Since one of my goals was to capture stock images, I primarily shot an aperture priority at 5.6. That's where the 23 millimeter lens really shines in my opinion with excellent sharpness and covers the depth of field I require for my stock images. I did shoot a few images wide open at F2 and those examples are in the slideshow. I set the metering mode to the standard multi uh, setting and use the exposure and compensation dial to fine tune my desired exposure. I rarely went above an ISO of 640 to maintain the noise as low as possible. Stock agencies hate noise, so I had the ISO set at 160 most of the time. I didn't shoot at night, so ISO really wasn't a big issue for me. I shot RAW plus JPEG. I normally only shoot RAW, but on this occasion I wanted to test the quality of the JPEG output. For the JPEG files, I set the highlight tone to minus two, shadow tone to minus two, color to zero, and sharpness to zero. Those settings are a good base starting point and create a relatively flat look that I can tweak in post-production. Fujifilm does an outstanding job with JPEG output. In fact, I'm using several of the JPEG files for stock because I used the Fujifilm digital zoom feature to capture some close-up street sign images and the zoom feature only works on JPEG files. I shot auto white balance most of the time, which is very accurate. The only time it really struggled was in scenes with predominant shade in the composition. Those images really needed to be warmed up a bit. And finally, I primarily use the standard Fuji Provia film simulation. Fuji has excellent film simulations. I particularly like the classic chrome and pro negative simulations. The Velvia simulation, that's far too saturated for my taste. So that covers most of the basic settings. Most of the shots I took were cityscape and landscape type images matching my style of photography. I also managed to capture a few panoramas, <laughs> rotating my body and just going around like that. I didn't take any portraits, but I did manage to capture a few shots of my friend's pets, some really cute dogs they have. I'm so glad I challenged myself by only taking this camera on my road trip. It has rekindled my love of photography. This truly is an excellent travel camera option. So, are you ready to challenge yourself? Let me know what your next challenge will be. If you're interested in purchasing the X100V, I provided affiliate links in the description section. I also have a video covering the accessories I have for this beauty if you want to really add some bling to your X100. Okay, this wraps up my video. Thanks for viewing, and if you liked it, please hit that thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button as well and check out some of my other videos. Here's a slideshow of some of my favorite shots from the road trip. Enjoy the ride and catch you later.